Hi, I'm Joy Cho, the author of the book, You're Okay. I'm so excited to be joined today with our illustrator, Angie Stocker, artist, illustrator, and designer. And we're going to talk about the process of developing this book. So welcome, Angie. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. We started this book process, I think, almost two years ago. Uh -huh. At least, at least. <laughs> at least. Yeah, what are we in 2020? I feel mm -hmm. like 2017, 2018, something like that. But in developing the Oh Joy Storybook series, Angie and I worked so closely together to figure out what these characters were going to look like. And it was so much driven by um, various hint lines and marks that Angie would make and what really evolved out of what I thought these characters should look like and the words that were going to come out of them and Angie's amazing aesthetic and ability to, to make it come to life. So I guess, Angie, if you could tell a little bit about the process in general and then we can dive into the year okay. Okay, so... Um, starting from the last book, we took some of the characters like the cat and the styling of the book and kind of evolved it. Um, I worked really hard to try and um, create this, uh, this hedgehog that is um, super lovable and but has this like prickly, prickly attitude. Um, yeah, and it was a lot of back and forth um, talking with you. Um, I'd show you a sketch and we're like, yeah, we really like um, these different aspects, but let's make the eyes brighter. Um, I have one of, let's see, the original drawings with your notes on it, a small note. Okay, this is one of the originals. Oh yeah. So just for yeah, and comparison, that's one of the originals, and this is the final hedgehog. Yeah. So some of the things we held on to, but like the eyes we wanted to make bigger, the nose we made a little bit cuter and buttony. Overall, just a little bit softer and huggable. <laughs> and I so, think a little younger, yeah. too, because some of the early yeah. Hedgehogs felt like they could have been like a middle-aged hedgehog and we really wanted a cute younger I remember saying like let's make it look like it's in kindergarten or something yeah yeah hanging out with his buddies her buddies their buddies <laughs> so um yeah and so it, we went through a lot of iterations um you, you have some videos of yeah two of the iterations All right, this is one of our first iterations, um, or one of the many iterations of the hedgehog, um, our lovable character, and did a lot of playing with textures and colors and facial expressions. And um, I think in the end, like we really loved this, uh, the spiky texture, how I created the spiky texture here. So we carry, carried that through, even though we changed the, Kind of body shape and then this is our character how we know know of it and kind of um, playing with them in different scenarios and um, different expressions um, yeah, I think the main thing was when we were getting the hedgehog down, it was getting the hedgehog first and the style, and then from there, all the different expressions, especially because Happy the Hedgehog, as we like to call him or her, isn't always happy specifically, because this book is about feeling. Yeah. Uh -huh. seeing, seeing happy, not happy was also a challenge too. Like, how do we, how do we make happy sad? Yeah. Yeah, lots of iterations, lots of different color colorizations. Um, yeah, he was really fun. She was really fun to develop. <laughs> There's the finished one. Yeah, almost. <laughs> 
That was so fun. I love that. And then let's take the one more. Um, let's look at this. And so while we were also developing the character styles, um, we were uh, a lot. We were developing this kind of background background characteristics um, elements that would be used throughout the book. Um, here are some different trees, um, and then the clouds and the foliage. Yeah, it's fun to just see it kind of, it takes way longer than this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't just take two minutes to draw. Yeah, yeah, it's way longer. Um, but it's a good memory, good recap. So I know that one of my favorite parts of working on the book with you is the fact that, you know, we started off with this idea. We knew that you're okay was going to be about feelings and emotions, and that was something that was so important to me to talk about as part of this whole series. And um, very early on, we decided that the hedgehog would be one of the characters and we would, um, it would have a nickname of happy because it will eventually go through ebbs and flows of not necessarily being happy. And for me, I loved how much things changed because basically the way that it works and it has worked with the three books that we worked on together is that I would sort of write out the general storyline and then the different situations that would happen. And a lot of them, especially in this book, were inspired by things that happened in my kids' lives. Both of us are moms. I have two kids and she has three kids. And I would put specific situations of things that my kids went through. And then we would turn those situations into something that would make sense for Happy the Hedgehog to go through with friends and with family. And Angie would take those things and you would start to draw them out. But then we also had to flow the entire story through. So for me, it was such a collaborative process that even though I was writing the book and even though I put together sort of the framework of the scenes, you also lent your creative process into, okay, well, we know that we wanted these things to happen, but how are we making sure that we tie it together and how are you drawing it so that it can make sense from one spread and one to the other? And so for me, I think I, you know, we always say that this is sort of like our baby because it really wasn't just, hey, here are all the words and here's the scenes and go draw it and come back and we're just going to put it together and then it's done. It was really yeah. very much like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very collaborative because I wanted to make sure that the story was coming across the way you kind of envisioned it or, or, or um, I would say, you know, this, this environment isn't really working with maybe how it was written could we change it so it so it fits this way and it was very much back and forth and for me like I wanted I wanted to illustrate this character like what coming in from this beautiful sunshiny walk and walking into this kind of creative forest and um they met you know all sorts of emotional challenges along the way and um yeah that's it was fun to illustrate all these uh, ways to make things okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I thought I would show one sort of version of something that changed along the way that when you get the book, you're not going to know, but we have this one scene where this squirrel character isn't really interested or feeling shy about participating in what all of these other animals are doing. And originally it said read or sing, but then we had this discussion that it didn't really make sense for one of the alternatives to be singing because clearly the squirrel was shy and maybe wasn't just interested in performing at all. And so it ended up changing to read or swing which is so fun. And so there's an earlier version we have where they're actually singing, sitting down on these rocks, but now they're on a swing and then also reading, just doing something completely different than what is happening over here. So it's a fun evolutionary process. Um, thank you so much for chatting with me today about this. I have one little secret too that I don't know if everyone will pick up on, but um, on every page, there's also this little, this little guy. Oh yeah. For every every spread, it's kind of like a fun little nugget to find throughout throughout the book. 
So the little um, ladybug. Secret. Secret. Yeah. Yeah. So find the ladybug on every page. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angie. Wow. Um, so great to see you. So nice to see you. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Yeah. Well, see ya. <laughs>